Well, hey everybody, it's Bug Eater 64 and welcome you back here to DCS World. We're going to be a little different today because what we're going to do is I've taken a couple of streams that I did in the last two days, July 2nd and July 3rd of 2019, and I didn't videotape those streams, but I went ahead and used video that's in the replay system. Now, <clears throat> this is where the issue comes in. Every time I have used video or tried to use the replay system in DCS World, the replay starts off okay, but is n never replays exactly the events that took place during the mission. Interesting. Don't know why. But in most cases, what it does, it starts off good. I go out, do part of the mission, and the next thing I know, it's flying me into trees, into the ground, into the water, you know, all kinds of things. But it ends up killing me off. It doesn't like me. So, I'm, we're going to look at some of this, see if I can figure out what's going on. I'm not sure I can. But after watching this if any of you have any ideas or a cure for this issue because I've it's been around ever since I started using DCS world way back in the day so please feel free to make a comment let me know what you think always appreciate comments from my watchers so let's get on inside Let's look at what's going on. Let's have a little fun. Blow some stuff up. And so a few of my friends, we all got together and we had a good time that day. Into the early morning. So, let's get started. So, here we are. Uh, this is on uh, Kirk's Hangar. Um, and as you can tell, I'm... I'm in my Huey getting ready to go uh, on this mission with me uh, is uh, pilot um, missile locks and uh, we fly this and in the actual mission that we flew we ended up make going to the uh, combat site blowing up a whole bunch of ground equipment and everything and as you can tell we we're flying this in heavy thunderstorm lightning, rain, wind, everything. So, just like it sounded over my house the night we actually flew this. But anyway, so we're getting ready to set to go. But as I said, uh, we flew this mission. Uh, we went out to the combat site, uh, fired off, uh, returned to the far pier, uh, rearmed, went back, shot up some more stuff, came back to the FARP uh, uh, again, and um, basically never lost a, an aircraft. Well, that's not what happened on the replay. So here's my first replay, the first time I used the exact same replay. And... Uh, On this particular mission, it was just uh, me and the co-pilot. So I'll go through the rearm procedure, uh, get the co-pilot and myself uh, mini guns and uh, small rocket pods, and we'll get things going here. That uh, engine you hear starting up, that's uh, missile locks, who's off to my right. That's my helicopter. And if you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see Missile Lock's helicopter uh, powering up. Uh, 
And while he's starting up, I'm going through the rearm process. Request rearming. Copy. Rearming complete. Okay, now that we've got the rearming complete, we can go ahead and uh, get our helicopters powered up and ready to go. So the co-pilot's all set. <clears throat> I put him on free fire that way. Uh, if he spots a target, he doesn't have to wait until we're shot at to return fire. So, which in the past has worked real well for me. Because they seem to do a little better job of seeing things than I do, especially in VR. Now this flight is not in VR, but. Uh, They still pick out targets and see things quicker than I can. And as you see up in the left hand corner of our screen, that's my helicopter. Upper right hand corner, that is uh, missile locks. And I introduced fuel too quick in this one, and that's why I've got the hard start. The old hot start, which you don't want in a helicopter. The turbine engine does not like it. Just about ready to lift off here. All the gauges are looking within nominal realms. Alright. Start pushing it up to full power. And missile locks waiting patiently for me to get my butt in the air. So here we go. Let 
get that transitional lift work for us as we gain a little speed. We'll go underneath these wires and then we'll gain a little altitude. And we'll go find some bad guys. The thing I like about Kirk's hangar uh, server is the fact that uh, from the far, the actual combat missions are cl very close. So, where on some of the other servers, uh, if you're in a helicopter, so a lot of your missions are. 20 miles away, and it takes some time to get there and back. But on Kirk's hangar, uh, we don't have that issue. in close formation. <clears throat> and our first target is, which we're shooting at now, just off to the left. A little outpost with a couple uh, pieces of mobile equipment in it. And you can see we're, we're causing hits, which is always a good thing. See if we can get them start, set on fire, and they'll eventually then blow up. There we go. So we got one of them on fire at least. Got them burning. A missile comes around and uh, puts some rockets on the target to just make sure that uh, we didn't leave anything behind. You'll see it come in here and Send those rockets in. Now I'm not sure because I, I forgot to ask Missile if this was the first time that he had actually flown this mission on uh, Kirk's hangar. But at this point, this target is pretty much, as we'd say, toast. It's been eliminated, so we're going to go look for f more game. Now, I go behind, there's, there's a valley basically right in front of us, and I fly into th through that valley and come around far side of this hill. Well, Missile 
goes around the left side of the hill. And as you'll see, he gets a real rude awakening. That's missile in the upper right, as I've said, and that's me in the upper left, plus on the main screen. And he's getting hammered. Triple A down in that those trees just lights him up. Missile basically turns around, going defensive, and uh, says, you know, I'm not sure I want to play with these guys anymore. But what they didn't realize is that you just, when you pick on a Huey, you, you piss all the Hueys in the area off, and we have to take a little revenge. some lag spikes. It's multiplayer DCS world, that's one of the issues we have to deal with. Okay, so I'm coming around and I... The missile's taking on targets on his... where he's at and he's still getting peppered big time by these anti-air triple-A guns. And I can see what's happening front of me. And as I come up here getting ready to make the attack, I start taking fire from my right side. You can see it coming in. So I go defensive, get low, get out of the line of fire. I, luckily I haven't taken any hits yet. I'm going to come around and start my gun runs. Because I've got a pretty good idea where these weapon emplacements and vehicles are, and that's what we want to take out. here and see I start taking hits. Now remember the main screen is the first replay the time I use the replay for this mission. The upper left hand corner where I, you see me flying is the second time I turned to the exact same mission replay. Now keep your eye. Boom! It flew me into the trees in the upper left. Here the first time I did the replay, and there I trying to help out the missile by killing this AAA that he just flew by, and I'm still carrying on my mission, killing bad guys. Now, as you can tell by in the upper, uh, well, in both upper screens, that is now just missile, but he is had his hydraulic shot out and that's probably, he's probably got a fire warning in his cockpit and that's showing smoke as he's flying and he's trying to head back uh, to the far at this point. I just get notification that one of the things I shot up finally exploded and I got the kill. <laughs> But I'm still taking it to him. Wanted to try to take out more and try to give Missile some cover fire.
Okay, now I've just had my hydraulic shot out and I've got a fire warning. So, yeah, it's. Time to detach from combat and head home. And get the helicopter repaired and refueled and rearmed. You can hear them still hitting me. So I'm trying to get out. That's why I'm going extremely low. Now, in the real f first, when I flew this mission, I went to the left of this bridge and that tree. But in the replay, it takes me over the railroad tracks. And so this did not actually happen. And that's me from the outside trying to head home. Missiles in the upper screens. Now he makes it all the way back to the fart and lands, gets rearmed and repaired. For me, the replay is not so well done. Now, I haven't touched controls or anything. This is everything that did, and it's already changed, and it flies me right into this electrical tower. And in the real mission flight, that never happened. But it killed me off. Don't understand why. And Missile locks heads all the way back to the farm and rearms. So this is a same day, but another mission. This time the weather's finally good. Uh, Kirk's hangar has reset the server, so we're we're going forward. In this one, this particular flight, uh, I was flying with. Uh, Cajun Josh, who was in a gazelle, and also Solid Snake, who was who was flying a KA-50. Copy. So we'll take a look at this and see what just went on. Again, it wasn't f filled with reality as a replay. Started off fine. Did not end well for the old bug eater. Refueling complete. Yet, in the real mission, did the exact same thing in this flight as I did with the first flight. Went out, tore up a bunch of enemy equipment, came back to the far, rearmed, refueled, went back, same thing and ended up landing back here at the FARP to get rearmed a third time and unfortunately which never shows up in the replay the other people were spawning into the Rearming server complete. and to the FARP and it ended up putting a helicopter right next to me on this pad and Basically, my engine was already running. I was getting ready to take off and tore off my rotors, flipped my helicopter over, and that was the end of that. But it was not from enemy fire. And you see Cajun's Josh landing over there. And uh, the reason he was landing there is that he had taken off earlier. Got over a target area and realized he had forgotten to load his missiles. So he had to come back and get rearmed. This time I am going with my door gunners. So my co pilot has mini guns, and then I've got mini guns for both left and right gunners positions and again I will put them on free fire so they can just go ahead and have fun
And again, at this point, in the upper left-hand corner of the screen is my outside view of my helicopter. Once again, we'll head off to our outpost. And I was thinking Josh, uh, Cajun Josh might have been around behind me and I just want to but he's not okay so I'm off off to my target area Once again, this whole thing is done with uh, DCS World Multiplayer Replay files that I, I've got in my DCS World system. But unlike other programs like X-Plane, other programs I've used, uh, when I do a replay, it shows exactly what happens through the entire replay. This one in DCS World does not, and I don't know why there's that difference. It's kind of annoying. Because if I'm making a flight and I have decided I'm, you know, I'm not going to really videotape it, and then all of a sudden something happens that's, you know, very exciting or worth sharing with you folks and I may not be able may not even have it because the replay system won't show that portion so anyway here we go we're getting ready to tear up my outpost again Boy, this time in the daylight and we are 
dishing out some damage here. Again, we haven't put them on fire yet. But they will be this time. There we go. Those gun hits you see there, that's from Solid Snake shooting at that. Mine finally blows up. The Solid Snake basically took out the building. So that site is toast. So now, I'm going to head in the actual flight, just like I did with the first time I flew the mission in the thunderstorm. take a look but uh, I fly through the pass on the right side of that hill and just take a double check make sure everything is toast down there and as you can see yeah that that's not an outpost you want to be posted at because we always have to take it out because it has put holes in an aircraft in the past. So. With that done, as you see, I start heading for the pass. But the replay system decides to do something else. So instead of going to the pass, it's going to take me right over the top of the hill, which is not where I wanted to go. So at this point, I grabbed the controls and was trying to make a change if I could. It wouldn't let me, because it's a replay system. So what does it do? Hold on to your butts. Boom! Hello, trees. It kills me off. So, with that, we're going to watch that perspective now through the outside views of both Cage and Josh here in the Gazelle. And then in the upper left hand corner, of the screen and that's me on the ground prepping my helicopter so Cajun comes out here and he's hovering watching the target area Realizes that maybe he forgot something. Like weapons. So he has to head back to the farm. Oh well. Yeah, that 
upper left, that is... <laughs> and through this whole thing, you'll see uh, Cajun Josh likes to play Skip the Helicopter like he's throwing stones across the pond. But as I was saying, upper left-hand corner, that is Solid Snake in the KA-50. Cajun lands at the FARP and gets rearmed with his missiles. Otherwise, he's going to have a hard time killing anything out there other than himself. And you can see my helicopter sitting on the FARP. Skip the helicopter again. <laughs> now remember the skipping the helicopter thing because later on it becomes very relevant. Okay, so here he is hovering over pretty near the uh, the first encounter, as well as uh, solid snakes coming to the location too. So we're seeing that first mission I flew I don't know what that was all about, if it was a lag spike or what. But I come in from the left, and you see it off in the distance, and I'm shooting up the, the outpost. second pass very shortly and then you can see there it is and snake comes in and gives some assistance with the outpost So at this point everything's going just like it's supposed to.
going to do my circling and then I get ready to leave the area and head for my attack position around the back side of the hill. And both Cajun Josh and Solid Snake move into standoff positions where they can hover, pick up targets, and fire their missiles. Which is what these two helicopters do extremely well. Now in the real mission, we did that. I went around behind, they were, you know, shooting stuff from standoff position and killing bad guys. And I came around the back side of the hill, shooting off in the valley, took care of a lot of anti-air and stuff. And you can just see where I just picked up the smoke, the upper right. That's where I hit the trees again. That's not what really happened. The replay has damned me again. These guys, you know, they kept doing their thing. Uh, and in, in the real mission, I'm still flying around. Never got shot down. Never crashed. And I know I harp on it, but once again, the replay does not, it's not a replay. I don't know why DCS World doesn't do what it's supposed to when it comes to this replay system. And this isn't, you know, a one or one time or two time uh, system failure when it comes to replay. Every single replay I have ever had in DCS World does the same thing. It changes the outcome. It never shows a true representation of the replays. So I guess my only cure for that is to, whenever I want to fly in DCS World, just go ahead and videotape it so I'll have a record if I something happens that I want to share. Saw the snake fly underneath Caden Josh on his way to a new position. Cajun only had four missiles, so. Uh, He's already fired him off, and he's on his way back to the park to rearm. Well, Solid Snake goes finds bad guys to kill. And as you can see, there's. Pretty good lag spikes.
Now, Solid Snake is looking for a SAM site in the city, and he's about to find it. Watch that upper left hand screen. He's found it, he fires on it, and they get obliterated. Blew the nose completely off his helicopter. That's one KA-50 that he won't be repairing. So, Cajun gets rearmed. Gets four more missiles. Gets back to the fight, maybe. Or does he? Now remember the skipping stone scenario? Yeah. It didn't get away with it that time. So, with that being said, Kate and Josh then respawns in a Huey. Now the one thing I will say about Cajun, he never likes to hide from the enemy, so he's got this very flamboyant, bright colored UH-1 Huey that he's going to fly. Now, Solid Snake went back after that SAM site a second time. And as in the first time, he got his butt handed to him. So now Cajun, Cajun Josh is going to take this Huey, get it rearmed, which he's already done, and he's going to go after the SAM site. And we're going to get to see how well he does. While all this is going on in the real real time mission, I'm still flying around shooting stuff up and blowing it up. We're all on Discord talking as all this is going on. Unfortunately, that didn't get a replay. That doesn't get uh, passed over, so you didn't get any of the vocals of what was going on. But uh, you know, we're all talking, saying where enemies are and saying what's going on. You know, we're just having a, a, a very enjoyable time on. the server, flying the multiplayer, and as I said, I never got shot down, I never crashed, I didn't get knocked out until I was at the FARP and they spawned a helicopter right at my door.
So now Cajun Josh is heading down. He's going to take a direct route on the left side of the hill. Which wouldn't be my preferred approach angle, but <clears throat> Caden Josh is a bit of more of a daredevil than I am when it comes to flying my helicopter into the teeth of the enemy. And you'll see what I'm talking about here very quickly. See, we've shot up a lot of stuff around here, but there's still stuff alive. Take some hits. Yeah, hello. I think he's upset the neighbors. So he took some minor damage, but his crew's still alive. He's going to go in and confront Sam Sam Sight and equip him very well with uh, AAA, and he's going to try and take it all out. Watch and see what happens when he finds them. Will he be successful? Time now. It's coming down the main drag here. Found him. Okay, he's killed one truck. Triple A <laughs> has killed the Huey. Good crash landing, but it rolls over and then the Triple A finishes him off. Okay. Well, you saw it. You tell me. Just like this picture. The replay system always leaves me upside down, confused, and scratching my head. I have no idea why it does what it does. But you saw, it killed me off. Flew me right into the trees. And I have no control over it. Inside the cockpit or out, when I hit the flight controls, nothing happens when I'm in the replay. Now, I know there is a, a way. I hit a key, and I can take over. But I'm not. that's not why I'm using the replay system. I'm trying to do some editing and bring some highlights to the folks out there. So, if somebody could please explain to me what is going on, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And with that, 
This is Bug Eater 64, and until next time, next time we meet, whether it be in a military aircraft or in fixed wing and X-plane, you're always welcome to come. Always love having you folks here. Thoroughly enjoy the comments, any ideas you may have to make things better. It is appreciated. So please, feel free. Tell me what you think, how to make better use of the equipment I do have, and maybe improve my equipment. Anyway, y'all have a great week. Hope everything is good for you and your family. Have a great 4th of July holiday, America's uh, birthday. And uh, we'll all see you then. And as always, safe flying.